Hi, good morning. So, I've been trying to film this introduction twice already, and I keep deleting it because, I mean, usually I mess up and whatever, and I don't care, but then I was like, ah, I don't know if I want to say that. So, I just got back from my first appointment that I had told you guys about yesterday, um, but I'm going to go get my hair done in, a, in about an hour. It's 10 o'clock already, and yes, I'm filming in the morning, which I know I haven't done in forever. The other good news is um, I finally finished editing all the February vlogs, vlogs, so that means that I can start uploading them and then come back and just put all the description in and hopefully should take me, I would say maybe, knowing me, I'm going to give myself a week, but I'm going to try to get them up a lot faster than that because I want to do all the annotations and little things and whatnot on there um and i keep saying what not ever since i started watching this show where like the lady said what not a lot and now i'm noticing that too much but um and i have like the biggest pimple right there sorry guys no pimples suck but um i should probably make an appointment with the lady who does the facials which is actually the lady i just went to for like something completely different um i had to just go take care of a few things in terms of the pampering department. Um, so, yes. But now I'm going to print out some pictures, some ideas in terms of my hair because I still have no fucking clue what I'm going to do to my hair. Uh, and I also need to brush it, so I should probably brush it first and then get the ideas later. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of thinking... Bear with me. Something along the lines of like Sinead Grimes because she had like the longish layered hair kind of thing going on and sometimes they do it wavy and it doesn't look too bad or like Jessica Biel layers or even like Minka Kelly lead and Meester kind of layers. I'm still not completely sure though. Um, but you guys will find out soon enough and you guys will be the judge of whether it actually looks nicer than my hair or not. And I'll, like, show you before I leave the salon what my hair looks like at the moment and what it's going to look like. So you guys can actually see the difference this time. Because I know in January I was like, uh, it looks the same because you didn't do much to it. But this time I'm going to try to get, like, a newer cut. I might even try to get, like, side bangs again, which I haven't done in, like, forever. I haven't done bangs since the last time I did, like, the straight bangs, which was about... Sometime last year I had that. Well, they had grown up by, by last year, actually. So, yeah. Hey guys, so it's like 3 already and I started vlogging like at 10. Um, but yes, hold on, this, I'm proud of stop like. So this is my new hair. It's like nice and layered. And um, it was my sister's friend's mom's. mom um, who, did, who did it. So I like, she's she gives us, gives us a discount because like we know her daughter and stuff which is awesome um but she like really you know she did my hair she's explaining to me like different things i can do and she was also explaining um because i think i've told you guys that my hair gets like really 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 tangled and i asked her like why is it like in um, like other than the split ends like it still will get tangled and she goes it's just you know some people have a certain texture and i do have like it's like medium, it's not thick, it's not like coarse, but it's like medium. And even then, it'll still like be like really, really sharp. Like by sharp, I mean like if I cut my hair and it gets into my eyes, it's like a freaking needle going into my eye. And it's just how my hair is. Um, so I guess because of the texture of my hair, because it gets all wavy and stuff, it just tends to get tangled. So she said that the best thing for me would actually be to consider a Brazilian or a keratin treatment. Now, I was really scared because um, I read articles that Brazilians actually give you nosebleeds and like the chemicals are super harsh for you and all that stuff. So I was totally against it because I'm not saying like I'm like this super organic, like eco like only green stuff kind of like, you know, oh my God person. But at the same time, I don't like putting too many chemicals in my, like, you know, I dye my hair already, so I think that's, like, enough chemicals. Um, but she was saying that they actually have um, re, uh, 
invented the formula because of it, and because they used to have like formaldehyde in the Brazilian blowout thing. Um, she says, well, that's what she said. That she said that the FDA had to pass new laws for it, and so now it only contains as much chemicals as like a regular hair dye would. Which I mean, it's still not the greatest because like it's still chemicals and there's still like organic versions of dyes, but it's still pretty good. And um, so she says like she would recommend that for me, and she usually charges 200, but she said she'd give me a discount, so like probably like 150, which is not too bad. Um, most people dye their hair for that matter at that price. Um, so I think I'm actually gonna consider it, but I'm really happy with my hair because now there's like shape to it. Before it was just like long. And there was like long layers at the end that you couldn't really tell because they were almost as long as like my hair, you know, overall. Um, and yeah, so we did that. And, and I did my nails for the 4th of July. Yeah, a little late, but. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, I think like, focus. You have to tap it. I did. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Very cute. Anyways. And so, yeah, so. That's done. Then we went to sell the clothes, which they only accepted like seven of my items, even though I had all these bags. So what I'm gonna do, and part of it, it's not even because they were like, they're not the pickiest consignment shop that we've been to. Wasteland and Buffalo are much more like snobbish, especially Wasteland. Buffalo's still like, okay, like if it's a rock t-shirt, use rock t-shirt, like that's perfectly fine. Um, but Wasteland is like totally like, um, if it's not like designer or it's not like unknown but vintage, then we don't accept it. So anyway, um, but there's this website, it's called hipswap.com and I'll link it down in the description box um, or like I'll put an annotation here. So um, basically you get to sell your clothes and they only take 3.5% of your, of the price as opposed to 35%, like giving you only 35%. So I, I, got, I still got enough like so I can go get like a pedicure or something. But we're gonna go to uh, Burbank now so we can, um, I'm gonna consider looking for a new bathing suit because I have one and it's cute enough, but it's kind of outdated and like makes me feel like really kiddish. I mean, it's cute and everything, don't get me wrong, it's like Roxy and stuff. It's like striped, it's not like overly like, you know, immature, but I don't know, I want something a little new. So if I can find it, great for like a cheap price if we're going to like Nordstrom Rack and TJ Maxx and stuff. And if not, you know, I at least have something to wear. But um, I'm all set for tomorrow. I just, well, I just need to pack tonight. Yeah, me And too. decide what I'm gonna, because we might be going out to like a nice-ish dinner. My mom wants to do that. Oh shit, I got on the wrong freeway. <laughs> really? So, well, because this is gonna take me to Glendale, so I'm gonna take over me. But it's cool. Um, so, yeah. I'll get off soon enough, though. I'll just stay on the 101. There's a popo going on. Hey guys, so I'm finally home. Um, like I said, we went to TJ Maxx and all that stuff in Burbank. We f thought we had found bathing suit at Forever 21 and I bought it, and then it turns out the top is still too small, and the bottom fits a little awkwardly on me. I feel like, I mean, like I don't feel as comfortable as my old bathing suit, which washes me out in terms of the color, but the fit is, like, makes me feel so you know, good, I guess. Like, it makes me feel like I look okay. Um, so, but there's a Forever 21 on our way there, so we might pass by. It all depends on my mom. Um, and it's almost four, because we've been packing and seeing what we're going to take, and I always overpack. But the thing is, like, you never know what you're going to need. And yes, it's only, few, like, two hours not even two hours away, like an hour and a half. Or yeah, like two hours away from where we're, from where we live. But, um, like still. Um, so there was that. And, I don't know, part of me is kind of looking forward to it. The other part of me is like, kind of over it. It's like, uh, I don't know where I go, but it's happening anyway. So I might as well just be excited. But I should probably be getting to sleep. Um, I mean, I already took, like, a body shower because my hair was, like, fine and whatnot. And, 
yeah. So you guys will see what I end up choosing tomorrow, which is exciting. And I know this today's kind of been a crazy vlog, but I got a lot of stuff done even though when I did go to like TJ Maxx and Ross, I'm not Ross, Marshalls and that kind of stuff. I actually found a really cute one at TJ Maxx, but it was a one piece. And it was cute and everything, but it was like 40 bucks. And I was like, well, mate, let's see, you know, what else we can find. And then I didn't go back. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to just say goodnight. So if you have any comments, leave them down below. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, anyways, goodnight.